Welcome back to the barn. Today we're going to talk about putting a precision manufacturing at a grapple small on my RK25, which is also the uh, TYM T25, so it applies to you guys too. Uh, the main reason I went with a, an at a grapple is I uh, don't have a lot of storage space, and I thought, well, it'd be handy to have it on here. Mostly I'm going to use it for moving some uh, brush and a few logs around on uh, our large uh, lot, which is uh, primarily in grass. Uh, so I wanted to have a grapple to help move some of that stuff around. Doing it uh, with just the bucket was uh, pretty tedious, and I'm going to have a lot of it to do. Uh, my big concern going with the uh, add a grapple, and it's legitimate, is this... Uh, reinforcing bend that they've put in the side of the bucket. Clearly it's to keep the bucket from buckling when you push it down with the leading edge. Uh, I was worried about uh, getting the bracket around that. I dealt with it by uh, putting the bolt through with an extra nut, tightening that down, and then uh, slid the bracket in and tightened it up. And that worked well. By the way, these are torqued to 70 foot-pounds. Um, looking at the torque specs, there wasn't anything in the instructions. Uh, that looked to be about right for uh, these half inch bolts. Uh, so that got me off of this little protrusion. Uh, but one issue that I ran up with too is the fourth hole is right on it. And I'm a little bit reluctant to drill through there because I don't want to weaken the bucket. Although I suspect the bracket is enough reinforcement that wouldn't be an issue. But I would much rather risk shearing these bolts uh, than buckling the bucket. So right now I'm kind of inclined to just run it with three bolts. Uh, I may do the math and figure out whether they're actually going to be strong enough, but I'm pretty confident they are. Uh, one potential solution would be to uh, to weld a bolt in here, essentially making a stud uh, to get a fourth anchor point. And like I said, I don't really think it's necessary. Um, one mistake I made that uh, will make you aware of, I got this all set up. I had it up like this. I had the uh, the grapple uh, hanging from my uh, shop crane, and uh, the instructions say to have this an inch inside here. Had my first hole in, had this hung right at an inch. I uh, was ready to go to town, and I took a break for lunch. I came back out to the barn after lunch and started drilling holes, and it's only after a couple of them were in I realized the bucket had drifted down while I was at lunch. Not surprising, they, they typically do that, I just didn't think through, and that ended up moving uh, the ends of my forks out here. This is fully closed. I don't think it's going to be an issue for uh, for my purposes, uh, although if you had some small thing you were trying to retain, it could fall through. If it ends up being an issue for me, probably the best solution is to look for a cylinder with just a little bit more stroke. So uh, one thing about the added grapple that I liked is the idea that you can you can take this off and get it out of the way of the bucket. Uh, in a little bit here, I'm going to pause the video and open the grapple so you can see how wide that goes. Um, that's not an easy task. Uh, this thing's fairly heavy, and uh, I found that probably it distorted when they welded it up. Uh, the holes here don't line up real well with the holes in the uh, in the mounting bracket by uh, beating the beating down on this with a hammer I was able to get it better uh, but it's still a struggle to get uh, get the hinge pin in and out so between the weight and that hinge pin uh, my suggestion would be you really don't want to be in a situation where you have to uh, pull it a lot uh, one thing I learned after final assembly is on this hinge pin uh, one end is flat, and uh, I don't know how well it'll show in the video, but the other end has a chamfer, so it's actually easiest to drive it, the chamfered end in first. Of course, I already had it uh, halfway in and tight before I realized that was going on and I was going the wrong way. So if I turned that around, it would probably work better. Uh, as far as hydraulics goes, I never really figured out what the couplers are that came with the uh, with the third function kit, uh, but I did note that these little adapters are three eighths pipe. In fact, these say they're three eighths on them. Uh, so I got 
just a, a male female three eighths coupler set figuring well if they didn't match um, you know essentially had one pair I'd have another and uh, that's what I ended up doing because they're not the same I'm not going to pull them apart and show you but the three eighths is definitely much bigger diameter you can see it here in the rings um, and then one issue I ran into with the uh, with the three eighths is there's not enough clearance because of this small distance. Uh, the the locking rings interfere with each other. So I ended up, I had bought uh, a couple of elbows. My intention was to elbow out of the cylinder, uh, but I actually used them here to get this guy up and out of the way. And that's actually working pretty well for me. Uh, the, the, the fittings and couplers and the hoses... Uh, came from Surplus Center. They had a really good price. They shipped fast. I, I've actually been anxious to do something uh, with them. Uh, I had did, done some measuring and uh, bought their hoses. They're just a little longer. So uh, for anybody that's thinking about doing this, the uh, the long hose is 60 inch and the short one is 48 inches. And as I said, they're uh, they uh, this setup gets them out of the way. There's plenty of room for them to travel. So I am happy with that. So uh, let me pause this and uh, we'll open this grapple and uh, you can see what it's like opened. All right, here we are with the grapple in its full open position. Um, and my lineup here is not very good. You can see that the teeth on that are not pulled back uh, rearward of the edge of the bucket. So uh, for any of you that likes to lay that bucket down flat and lift the front of the tractor, um, the grapple's going to be a, uh, a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, there's one other thing I learned that's uh, not specific to this grapple that y'all might need like to know. Um, my uh, third function valve seems to leak a, just a little bit between the... Um, the bucket cylinders and the gra and the third function outlets. If I let the pressure off to undo a coupler, by the time I get to the second one, it's going to have pressure on it again, which I think is just the weight of the bucket. Not a huge deal, but be aware of that if your couplers want to fight you, you're going to have to go uh, with the tractor off and operate the valve. So uh, I'm waiting. Uh, our whole whole property here, we've got two acres, is. Uh, is lawn. I've got some brush to move around. I've got a bunch of trees to take down. We've got some fruit trees that are too close together. And I uh, also have a couple maple trees that are too close to the uh, to the drain field on the septic. So I want to get after those. But right now the ground's soft. And since it's all lawn, I, uh, I want to wait until uh, things are frozen. I'll tackle that. So once I've used it, I may have an update later on. And I uh, hope this has been helpful and uh, my thoughts and have a great day. Thanks for watching.